In this lecture, we are going to look at hybrid clouds. In several of the previous lectures, we have looked at other variants of deployment based clouds such as private, public and community clouds. We will start in this lecture by looking at a use case which describes when you are going to use a hybrid cloud and what are the possible challenges of using a hybrid cloud and working with a hybrid cloud kind of an environment. We will try to bring out those challenges and also look at the characteristics of a hybrid cloud. So in the subsequent files, we will look at more details on those. As the name itself suggests, a hybrid cloud is a composition of two or more clouds. And often the composition starts from this side, that is you may combine a private with a community cloud or a private with a public cloud. And this is later one is the most common scenario when you will have a hybrid cloud. Typically you will have some common protocols which bind the two clouds together and there are use cases in which you want to do this. Typically uh, the scenarios in which you want to go for a hybrid kind of a topology is when your in-house resources or your private clouds resources are inadequate to address your use cases and you want to make use of both the in-house resources as well as the off-site server based uh, cloud infrastructure to serve your particular use case or particular applications requirements. And what it also means is that when you go for a public cloud offering, when you connect to a public cloud, you sacrifice some of the privacy and uh, certain other flexibility that you have in your in-house private cloud scenario. But at the same time, you can also think of in this manner that you gain additional scalability and fault tolerance, which a public cloud will offer. So in that sense, you get to have a best of both worlds, depending upon what application scenario you are trying to address. And this does not come for free. There are challenges in implementing a hybrid, a working hybrid cloud. And uh, we'll look at those in a moment. So what is the common use case or the motivation for going for a hybrid cloud kind of a scenario? As I just said a second ago, mainly it is used to augment your in-house computing resources. For instance, you may have an application which experiences certain amount of load for most part of the day and let's say between 2 to 3 pm there is a sudden spike that you experience every day for your particular application. In those kind of scenarios you may want to go for a better capacity, better compute power but you do not want to retain that compute power for throughout the day. It is required only for a fraction of your entire running time of your application. These are the cases where you may find hybrid cloud to be more suitable. And another use case may be that you want to use some special purpose computing infrastructure which you do not have for which you do not have the resources or the skills to set up in house. But your overall solution, the overall application may be such that this specialized functionality forms only a small part of it. So in that kind of a scenario, you may still not want to take the overhead of implementing and maintaining this kind of a solution. In such cases, again, you may go to a cloud provider, which may be offering such, such a, such a service and you integrate with it in some manner. Example could be, let's say you want to do some uh, large data set processing. You could subscribe to a cloud based map reduce cluster and combine it with your in-house resources. So you may have a private cloud based setup in house where your larger sol uh, where your overall solution is deployed but some part which requires a map reduce cluster processing some part of your computation you may go to a public cloud for this kind of a requirement. So these two use cases highlight a small part of uh, scenarios where you may want to set up a hybrid cloud. Now let's look at some of the key challenges which one faces when dealing with or working on a hybrid cloud platform. So obviously when you want to go to a cloud platform, let's say we are looking at a scenario where you are trying to set up a hybrid cloud by combining your private in-house uh, resources, a private cloud with a public cloud. Now, as we saw in one of the previous examples here that your application needs more compute power uh, for only a fraction of its overall day uh, day's job. In that kind of scenario, you want to go to a public cloud, let's say. Now you need to make a decision based on your traffic pattern analysis and some other analytics that what is the right time for you to start a virtual machine instance for example on a public cloud. Right? So this starting and stopping of public cloud resources 
you need to first determine when it should be done and you should have the ability and the protocol defined about when do you start and stop these resources on the external public cloud. And this is not an easy task. You need to first set up in your application, in your solution, the appropriate mechanisms which let you determine that when is the right time to do the start and stop operations. So this is one uh, challenge which one faces when dealing with a hybrid solution. Similarly, there may be other issues like ensuring a homogeneous environment. Homogeneous in the sense that, let's say in a use case, you want to set up a cluster which is composed of nodes both in your in-house private cloud as well as a public cloud. And these nodes go up and down. Up and down means on and off, uh, depending upon whatever their workload scenario may be. And they have to, whenever they come back alive again, they need to discover each other, let's say. Now, in order to do that discovery, there has to be some ability for the both public as well as the private uh, cloud part of this hybrid setup to communicate with each other. It's not again an easy task. Some public cloud provider may not allow you to, uh, you know, listen or connect on certain ports. Or similarly, your policies in the enterprise may prevent you from opening certain firewall ports which are required for such kind of a discovery to work. Right? So these are some of the challenges which you will face while setting up or working in a hybrid cloud kind of environment. Another issue could be the latencies that you experience while uh, deploying applications on a hybrid platform, hybrid cloud platform. Typically, inter-cloud communication experiences more latencies than your private in-house uh, networks experience. And in certain application scenarios, this may be an unacceptable situation to be in. And uh, while architecting or designing your solution, you need to be aware of these challenges and you have to devise certain mechanisms so that your your uh, hybrid cloud still works even with these latencies. I think that's pretty much it in this short lecture about hybrid clouds. So we looked at, uh, just to summarize, we looked at what hybrid cloud is. As the name itself suggests, it's a composition of multiple clouds. Typically, a private cloud is combined with a public cloud or it could also be combined with a community cloud. And you have to set up appropriate uh, protocols within your solution so as to make these both public and private clouds work in an acceptable manner, acceptable to your application that you are trying to deploy on such a hybrid cloud. So that's pretty much it for this short lecture. Thank you.